Dartmouth College, a member of the Ivy League, is located in Hanover, New Hampshire. Dartmouth has a beautiful historic campus located in a scenic area on the Connecticut River. Recreational opportunities abound all year round. Dartmouth College is steeped in tradition. In the Department of Earth Sciences, we celebrate our own long-lived tradition. The faculty and students here share a passion for experiential education in the laboratory and in the field at the undergraduate and graduate levels alike. Dartmouth has a long history of interest in, in natural resources, and today we continue that tradition with a focus on freshwater resources. We're interested in questions such as, what are the impacts of large floods? And what are we going to do with the thousands of dams that need to be repaired? Some of the projects we're interested in include the impacts of large floods. We know that many of the costs associated with large floods are related to erosion, but we don't have very good tools to predict where that erosion will happen. We're trying to actually come up with those tools. There are many thousands of dams that need repair. We're interested in what happens when you remove a dam in order to better constrain the costs and benefits associated with the removing rather than repairing the dam. One of the things we've learned is that some of the biggest environmental impacts of dams are related to sediment movement. We're coming up with new techniques to trace the movement of sediment associated with dam removals. Here at Dartmouth, our climate research is really focused on investigating how the climate is responding with global warming today, and also what caused the climate to change in the past. Our research is really focused on glaciers and sea ice and their surrounding areas. So this takes us to uh, all the Arctic nations, plus Antarctica, plus mountain ranges around the world. And our undergraduate and graduate students are key participants in every one of our expeditions. Our research topics include, for example, um, how ice is responding to global warming today, uh, how melting ice can actually cause larger environmental changes in particular regions. And we also look to the future, so we look to see how much is sea level going to rise in the next couple of decades as the ice continues to melt. Our research tools include analysis of ice cores and lake sediment cores, vegetation, rock and soil samples, and also remote sensing data from satellites and scientific aircraft. We're there with our students addressing some of the most pressing scientific questions that are facing society today. Hydraulic fracturing is the darling of the energy industry. Here at Dartmouth, we investigate the interactions between water and this black rock that are at the heart of the fracking process. How can we extract natural gas from this rock cleanly and efficiently? With all its promise, natural gas is still a fossil fuel. Atmospheric CO2 has reached levels not seen on this planet for millions of years. Here at Dartmouth, we're investigating how plants respond to these rising levels and how carbon is exchanged between the soil beneath our feet and the atmosphere. Our world-class analytical facilities are used to reveal how contaminants such as arsenic and mercury are cycled through the environment, how they affect ecosystems, and how these pathways can eventually lead to human exposure. Dartmouth Earth Sciences off-campus program, which is called the Stretch, has been happening for over 50 years. And it's providing world-class opportunities for students in the undergraduate program to visit amazing locations like the Athabasca Glacier here in the Canadian Rockies. The field seminar program provides undergraduate majors and minors an opportunity to experience a lot of what they've been learning in the classrooms. The 10-week course basically takes them through a lot of national parks and other geologically interesting sites in North America. We typically have seven topical segments, ranging from glaciology, as we're doing here, to structural geology in Montana, to sedimentology, and all the geology in the national parks throughout the American West, culminating and the Grand Canyon. This morning we've been learning about how different scientists um, use technology to study glaciers and we also got to go down in the moon and um, measure the thickness of this glacier. Students are coming and joining us in the Canadian Rockies and learning about glaciers firsthand. They're measuring what actually is changing about the glaciers right now. You just get to learn and work with your hands and use all these different types of technology and equipment that you've never done before and you've got people whose career it is to do this teaching you and it's wonderful. I think it's a perfect way to teach young geologists what earth science is all about. Learning about glaciers you can't get the full experience without actually being on one. Our students, they go on to careers, some of them in academia, some of them in the energy and resources industry, some of them in environmental consulting. Others end up in medical school, in law school, 
or even in the financial business um, with emphasis on minerals investments. The Department of Earth Sciences here offers some very extensive research opportunities. I'm primarily studying the wastewater from hydraulic fracking. The main thing that I've gained from my research at Dartmouth is that I've learned how to think and work independently. Being committed to trying to decipher all that data that we get is really a challenge, but I find it very rewarding. Here at uh, Dartmouth in the Earth Sciences Department, I've had a lot of opportunities to travel. I've TA'd for the stretch, and I was able to work with undergraduates in Death Valley and also hike with them into Grand Canyon. Another cool thing about working in our department is that I've had the chance to work with a lot of undergrads and mentor undergrads working in our lab. They've been really great to work with, they're really engaged, and it's just a really fun learning experience. Today's young generation will be facing a wide range of environmental challenges through their personal and professional lives. The faculty and outstanding students of the Department of Earth Sciences at Dartmouth College pursue the science underlying some of those challenges.